What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Lorna Marie. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Today for you I have what's in my purse. Yes, I'm super excited because I feel like the contents of a purse usually say a lot about a person and mine's usually a hot mess. How about yours? I'm super excited to do this video because I'm doing a whole travel series. I did what's in my suitcase, what's in my carry-on, and what's in my travel makeup and toiletries bag. So if you're interested in seeing any of those, check out the down bar. I will have all the links listed below. Also, I would suggest hitting that little subscribe and the bell notification so you guys are notified every time I post a video. Also, give your girl a thumbs up. It helps out my channel and it lets me know that you guys like these kinds of videos. So without further ado, if you wanna see what's inside my bag, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so here's my bag. This is the Pouch at Matisse by Louis Vuitton. I absolutely love this piece. Yes, it is an expensive designer piece, but it's so worth the investment. And when I say investment, it is, because if I wanna sell this, I can totally sell it later. God forbid something happened and I need to sell my bags because I need money, I can do that. I've already sold a bunch of stuff off of eBay and I've earned my money back some items I even got like close to purchasing price so it's a very good investment and also you can get them repaired at any time and I just I love this because I feel like it's gonna last me years anyways I also to preserve it I put this little um, scarf over uh, the leather because it gets dyed so I don't know if you guys can see that but like on here this is like leather that changes color and I like to preserve mine as long as possible so anyways let me show you how you get into it like this, okay? And this is what it looks like inside, okay? It looks super organized because your girl likes to know where her stuff is at, but does it always stay like this? No, I, I literally, I'm one of those people, I like organizing my purse wherever I go. I could be at a restaurant or wherever, I literally will dump my purse out and it annoys my family because I have receipts and all kinds of crap that you're shoving in there because when you have kids and you're grocery shopping, you're trying to check out, stuff just gets stuffed inside. But I'm one of those people, I'm just like, I'll do it at the movie theater, I'll do it at church, Lord forgive me. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But um, no, I'll do it anywhere though, literally. I will organize my purse whenever I can. So anyways, let's get into it. Let's go into these pockets right here. So in this very first pocket, okay, in the front, and I just wanna show you guys, cause I'm into organization, so I'm so love to see where people put their stuff. This is in the very, very first slot. I have a clear bag, and this bag houses um, stuff that I need to kinda get to quickly, or I usually have my lipstick and my lip liner. I don't have it in here, but I'll use whatever current lip, you know, set that I'm using, I'll stick that in here. So I have a mirror. This is the um, Muschino and Sephora. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Don't correct me, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I have the little bear set, but like, isn't it so cute? It's a little mirror. I have, this is a giant ring from Z Galleries and it holds your purse on the table. Let me show you how it works. So you take it like this. I'm gonna try to find one and link it down below for you guys if I can't find the one in Z Galleries. But you put this on the table and it sits on there like this. And then you put your purse right here, so. It hooks like this. And I use this all the time. I get so many women. They're like, oh my God, where's that from? It's so cute. And I'm like, see galleries, baby. Okay, so then I have, oh, it's open. I have this Chanel perfume. I usually do rollerball, but my husband got me these for Christmas and they smell so good. Um, hold on, I think this is the thing to do on YouTube. Mm, it smells good. Okay, anywho. So I got this for Christmas. It comes with two little refills. It kind of reminds me of that like monthly scent uh, set, scent set. I think it's like scent bird or something like that, but it kind of looks like, you know, how theirs is, but I've never tried that before. So anyways, this is the Chanel perfume. I absolutely love it. Okay, then I have an emergency tampon in this container. This is by Cora. This is a monthly subscription. I'll put the link down below because you guys, this is like life changing. I hate going to the store buying tampons because I always forget and then you're just like, everything's always an emergency when you start your period. So when it's shark week, be prepared, okay? I'm prepared by the subscription. You get towelettes to cleanse your area. You get tampons and like all that stuff, but um, it's, it's really good to have everything. And, oh, and panty liners. 
So, and they give you the exact amount that you'll need. You like tell them how long your period lasts, what your flow is, all that stuff. And so this is good. I just stick this in here. It came for free. And so all that just stays in my front little pocket. Okay, next. So then now I have in this middle section right here, I have two other little pouches, okay? These little guys right here. And I got them in different um, prints because I wanna know what's inside each one. So this one is like my necessities pouch. This has, I think I've mentioned in other videos that I love having toothpicks. I don't love, I can't live without these. So I always keep toothpicks in here. But this is just how it looks inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this just houses all of like my important things that I would like to have on me for emergency situations. So my Tide to go stick. I have Tums, okay? And I don't always need Tums. I just stuck these in here because I was gonna have a cocktail and sugar and alcohol don't mix for me. So sometimes when you get heartburn, if you've ever had that feeling and you're just like, oh, you wanna die. So I bring those with me. Then I have packets. Oh, I love these little packets of Tylenol um, from Amazon. I'll link those down below as well because I feel like the little packets are so easy. They don't take up too much space because the other ones sometimes, like even if I had little containers, they would get dumped out in my purse and then I got creeped out by taking them because they're so dirty. So anyways, I like those. Also in here, I keep um, alcohol prep pads. Now I use these to sanitize the outside of my phone. This is a really good tip because actually they did a whole study on your phone and it's one of the most dirty things. I think it's your phone is even dirtier than a playground water fountain. Ew. Ew. Okay. Then in here, I got this little container. It looks like an M&M one. You could totally do that. I bought this container, but I put gum in here. And then I also have my clear eyes and a couple of hair ties okay so that all goes into this pouch okay so next this is my little beauty pouch okay so i have this little guy this is by japanesque and i just use this to go underneath my eyes to like blend out any creases or whatever that i may have and um this is a really good little compact brush to fit inside of here then, okay, this is, it's not, is it considered setting spray? I don't think it's considered setting spray, but I bought this bottle off of Amazon. Okay, this is what this stuff looks like. And then you fill it and you slide this on over. But this is SPF. Now SPF is so important for like anti-aging and just preserving your skin. Like even the lights that I'm using right now, it's, they're aging on your face. So I have sunscreen on and you just, and it wears out, that's the problem that people don't know. SPF doesn't last all day. You have to keep applying it. So what's great, this can actually go over your makeup. So you spray it, it goes over your makeup, and you're good to go. And I think they say you use it like every two hours or something. But yeah, so especially when you're out at a festival or something like that, I'm from San Diego, so it's the sun is always out and creeping on me, so I have to always reapply my sunscreen. So I love this stuff. Okay. So then I have some samples of foundation. Now there's just weird situations where I'm like, I need to touch up in an area or whatever. And whenever I find them in my color, I just stick these in my purse. These ones are by Tarte and they're in my exact color. Um, okay, so also I have one of these little brushes. These are for eyelashes. I get eyelash extensions and I absolutely love having this thing. This was for tweezers and I stuck this in there. So I thought that was a really good little hack. Okay, so now in this little pouch, I could actually stick this in here as well. Okay, so in this little pouch, I have tweezers and then I have a glue, okay? I have fake nails, which I absolutely love my nails right now. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, she did such a good job. They're baby pink with like a cotton candy like overlay and some rhinestones. I love my nail lady, she's amazing. But I always keep super glue because there's those tragic, there's those tragic situations where you break your nail and it hurts. And it's not even the way that it looks more than it hurts, okay? Because I feel like the pain is worse than it actually looking like crap. You can just go get it fixed. But when it's like hanging or it's like exposed and your little 
real nail hasn't been exposed to the world in such a long time that it hurts so you just throw some glue and stick it on there you still need to get it repaired obviously and then you can put a band-aid or leave it like that if it's strong enough but i always always keep some glue on me when you have artificial nails okay next i have a little blush because i feel like blush because you know i don't like to wear like too much blush i feel like it kind of um fades out throughout the day so i like to have something in here to touch up and then i have three last little things in here and then i also have this clinique eye cream i just feel like sometimes if i'm out i'm not wearing makeup and i just need to like put some eye cream underneath there's some of that i have a smashbox um primer to go under the foundation that i showed you guys i have a duo i don't use this as much because i have artificial um excuse me have lash extensions but duo i would always always when i wore strips keep this in there and this is such a tiny little baby one that i got i think in like a glam bag or one of the ones from Sephora or something, but I absolutely love having these. That's just such a good tip to just take all those tiny little samples and just stick them in here and use them in your purse so they don't take up a lot of room. Okay, next. Okay, in between those little bags, I have this little guy. Um, this is my ear pods, and I got the case off of Amazon, which it's so cute, and it's got a little hook thing here, a little carabiner. And you can hook it to the outside of your bag, hook it to your belt buckle or wherever you need to hook it to. And then um, obviously the AirPods are by Apple. So I love this little case and I stick those in there because I like listening to audiobooks. Audiobooks are my literally my newfound favorite. And I'm gonna be doing a favorites video soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll be sharing like what my favorite books are right now. So if you're interested. Okay. Now we are on to the back compartment, the very last back compartment, which I have my wallet. And this one opens like this, which I really, really love. Okay. And then I have this. So um, we vlog sometimes and what's really cool, we have the G7X. We'll stick this onto the G7X or onto my cell phone, whatever. And it just lights up the world. So this is a really, really good investment. If you guys do a lot of like filming or pictures or even if you're taking pictures with your girlfriend and you just need more lighting, it makes a world of difference. So in the very back zipper pocket, I have my keys. Sometimes I'll stick my purse in here or I'll put this somewhere else, but I also carry my keys in there. So anyways, that is all that is in my bag. All right, ladies, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my What's in My Purse video. I love filming these videos. They're so much fun to do. So if you guys are interested in seeing my future videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe, hit that little bell notification. And if you like this video, give your girl a thumbs up. I absolutely love these videos and that shows me that you like them as well. Also, don't forget, I just launched my new website and it's got everything on there. So I'm super pumped for you guys to check it out. Also, all of the links for this video are in the down bar below. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.